collectors, here we are. We're on a really fine August day in 2011, and we thought we would take advantage of the weather and show you some pretty neat SA things that I think you'll be interested in. Uh, the first item that we have here uh, is a, a chest that's all hand painted and if you look at it closely you'll notice that these are all figures here that are giving the Hitler salute as well as a couple of flags here and on the top there are SA men with swastikas around each one of them. Uh, I want to give you some insight into what this box was for. It's, it's, um, it says Deutschland Airwalk on all four sides and it was made, the box was made in uh, about late 1933 and it was made right after the time that um, uh, uh, Hindenburg, sorry, that, that Hindenburg appointed Hitler as Reich Chancellor in March. This was a very, very big event for the Nazis. As you know, they started in 1923 trying to um, pull a putsch to take power, which didn't work out. And they finally decided that the only way was through the vote of the people. And by January uh, 1933, on the 30th, uh, Hitler came into power and um, uh, Hindenburg appointed him of uh, Chancellor in, in March. So this box commemorates what that me that event meant. In fact, it's almost religious in nature. Uh, the box comes with a, I'll show you inside, there's also a, a painting of Hitler's face. But the box comes with a, a period of paper which explains the meaning of it. And I'll try to uh, to tell you in broken English the best that I can translate it because it's quite interesting. It talks about uh, what all the items on the box represent. The painting is to represent the reclimb of the German people uh, to, the, to the forefront of Europe. Um, the Germans actually felt that they were the true rulers of Europe and they were finally uh, getting their rightful place after the awful time of the Weimar Republic and the reparations that had to be paid and World War I, etc. Uh, the center stripes here, uh, they, they actually show um, alternating men and women in black, white and red to represent the German people. The brown sh uh, um, figures uh, above that uh, are the beginning of the NSDAP. Uh, the figures in the center here with the half swastikas uh, are the um, uh, to simulate uh, Hitler and, and Hindenburg. Uh, this goes on and on uh, to, like I say, almost religious like. Uh, it's representing the ascent of the German people, which begun with the brown shirts. And the, that's the reason the brown shirts are shown on the lid over swastika is to give them strength and oak leaves meaning honor. Uh, the purpose of the, um, the Hitler image inside, according to the document, um, it, was, it was to give the people national thinking to carry inside of them the fire and the flame of the NSDAP. So it's really a very historical box, probably could have been used for jewelry or something of that nature, maybe tobacco. Uh, and it was to remind the German people that now they, were, they had it made and they were going to go on to become great. Naturally this didn't happen, but this was the thinking at the time the box was made. A very, very interesting artifact. On the back of the box here, we just have a, a nice little flag uh, that's, that's an NSDAP SA flag that comes from Saxony. We don't see many flags that have um, printed writing on them, so that makes this one really interesting. It has a separately sewn uh, white field as well as a separately sewn swastika. 
and on the reverse there's a or the bottom there's another there's a saying there probably an SA saying and as long as we're dealing with the SA uh, we brought some other things to show you I think that everybody's familiar with cigarette albums this one is a Deutschland Airwalk and it has the original cover on it you'll recognize it more without the cover because you rarely see the original cover and we call these albums cigarette albums and a lot of people probably wonder well why why are they called cigarette albums well the reason why is because see if I can get this to stand up here again the reason why is because the SA are distributors of SA cigarettes See the advertisement for the cigarette with an SA on it? And, and what happened, it says down here with each pack of cigarettes, you get a coupon and a picture. So when people bought cigarettes, they would give them this album and thereafter they would get pictures that they could add to the album themselves. Each of the pictures in the album has a number uh, beneath it. You can't see it here because all the pictures are in here but these are all glued in place by the person who received the album. This one is particularly interesting because it still has a photograph of Ernst Röhm in it. Most of the early albums like this had the photographs taken out or cut out and after this time they were replaced by Victor Lutz who of course was the head of the SA after Rome was um, assassinated. So I think that's kind of interesting and it probably will explain to people why these are called cigarette albums and it's also interesting because the albums I believe uh, I can't find it here at the moment but they do say that they're printed by a cigarette company. There's, there's not only the uh, Deutschland Airwalk but there's also an album called Adolf Hitler that most collectors are probably familiar with. And along with this I thought well why not put a couple of SA daggers out. What's interesting uh, this particular dagger if you look at the motto notice that the A in Alice is different. You can see that if you compare it with the A in Alice on this dagger. This is what we call the early A version and they only made a few of these and they were all produced by the Carl Eichhorn company which I'll show you on the reverse here. It'll always be the large double oval trademark. These daggers are very very rare. Uh, I've only seen a, maybe three or four of them in my time so they're very difficult to come by. I'm sure there's many an SA over the years that was sold as a regular SA because no one noticed that the uh, A was different in the motto. In fact, I know a couple of lucky people that got them that way, just taking them out of scabbards at shows and looking at them. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't happen much anymore because people know the score. <coughs> Since we mentioned Rome, it might also be nice to look at this icorn dagger because it's in full mint condition and on the reverse of it it has a full Rome inscription. It has the smaller uh, double oval icorn um, but you can also see them with the large oval uh, icorn like on the large A dagger. See how nice and crisp that is? As we all know Rome was declared a, a traitor um, actually Hitler was worried that uh, Rome was going to uh, try to take uh, what he thought was his rightful place in Germany because the SA helped Hitler come to power and he kept urging and needling Hitler what he was going to do for the SA and Hitler was concerned because he didn't want the SA to um, overcome the army so in order to really appease the army and at the same time get rid of Rome who was becoming an enemy, used to be his friend, he had him assassinated and that downgraded the SA from that point point. Uh, and then of course it gave rise to the uh, SS. So it was a, a very turbulent 
uh, time in the Nazi period and also very exciting because it affects the daggers that we collect. Uh, the Rome daggers after the assassination, uh, the inscriptions were ordered to be removed and we see most most all of them with a full removal, but once in a while we see them with just the uh, name removed uh, or just a, a lazy job at removing the inscription as a whole where you can still see some of the lettering. But uh, SA daggers are a great thing to collect and anything involved with the SA is a lot of fun because there were over three million of these men during Nazi Germany. So there's lots of SA artifacts to be found. Uh, almost every vet that brought daggers home had at least one or two SA's in the group. Years ago we thought we'd never run out of SA's and oh no, not more of those. I'm not even going to bother to look at them. Now today we're thrilled to death to find a nice SA dagger. It's amazing how collectors have really embraced SA's and now they're, they're interested in the group of marks. Uh, they're interested in the, the uh, makers of the cross cards. They're interested in the uh, in the many uh, producers and assemblers of SAs, which so far I think we know of about 230 different ones. So there's all excuse me. There's all different ways that SAs can be collected, and it's, if you're doing that, it's also nice to get some of the memorabilia that surrounds the SA. Uh, nothing wrong with getting a good flag or a, a, a nice bronze. Even a cigarette poster is very interesting, especially if you have a couple of cigarette albums. It can really make for a nice display. So that means that collecting can be in anybody's realm, whether, whether you're a uh, wealthy guy uh, or you're a working guy, there's still something for everybody to collect. So I hope that uh, you've enjoyed this. And it's a pleasure for us to make these presentations.